hi students welcome to our youtube channel so today our topic of discussion is a chemical engineer is studying the following reaction hydrogen gas and chlorine gas react with each other to form two moles of hcl at the temperature the engineer picks the equilibrium constant kp for the reaction is 1.9 so the engineer charges three reaction vessels with hydrogen and chlorine and lets the reaction begin she then measures the composition of the mixture inside each vessels from time to time her first set of measurement are shown in the table below so we have to predict the change in the composition the engineer should expect next time she measures the composition so we have three vessels the reaction vessel a b and c so we need to find the expected change in the pressure whether it may be increasing decreasing or there will be no change so we can solve this problem by using the relationship between reaction quotient and equilibrium constant so here we have to compare the reaction quotient and equilibrium constant and whether the chemical equilibrium needs to be shift left or needs to be shift right so if we let q stand for the reaction quotient and kp stand for the equilibrium constant so we can summarize the relationship like this here as we know that q is less than kp so it means there will be little two little products and if q is equal to kp so it means the reaction the situation is that the reactants and the products that are equilibrium state so there will be no change and if q is greater than kp so it means the situation is too much products that are present so now we are going to solve the first one in the first case of the reaction vessel a so we need to calculate the reaction quotient for reaction vessel a so q will equal to pressure of hcl over pressure of h2 into pressure of cl2 now we need to use the values of the pressure of each product and the reactants so we have 3. 10 square divided by 2.05 into 2.47 so when we calculate it so the answer will be 1.9 so that one this is equal to the equilibrium constant because we know that the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 1.9 so it means here q is equal to kp so when q is equal to kp so that means the engineer can expect no change in the pressure of the reactants and the product so we have to click on no change in the reactant and the product so same we can use the same thing or the same ways for vessel b and c as well so now we need to calculate the reaction quotient for the vessel b so now here is a and now we are going to find for b 
and we need to use the values that is q is equal to 4.28 here divided by square sorry divided by 2.83 into 3.41 so when we calculate it the answer again that is 1.9 so that again indicated there will be no change in the reactants and the products because here in this case kp again equal to q so we need to click on there will be no change now in third case in vessel 3 so vessel c or vessel 3 now here again q is equal to 2.37 squared divided by 2.83 into 2.41 here are the values so when we calculate it the answer will be 0 0.82 so in this case this indicated that the equilibrium that q is less than kp so there is too little product in the vessel c that is the case when q is less than kp it means there will be too little product in the in the vessel C that means the engineer can expect the pressure of the product HCl to rise the pressure of the product HCl to rise because here you can see that that is produced while the pressure of the reactants that will be decreases like the pressure of the reactants like H2 and Cl2 to fall so it means here the HCl is going to be increase while Cl2 and H2 that will be decreases so thanks for watching do like comment and share if you like our video we'll see you in the next time goodbye